This is another segment, an epic, a great epic, with Had Tubman being channeled by Omi Inka, telling tales out of school. Herod will be giving you lessons from history. Let's take a listen to Herod as she ventures out to tell us some more great stories of lessons and in the history book out of Herod's perception. Ooh, Lord, I wish I was home. Ooh, I wish I was home. This journey has been a great journey. I want y'all to know that. And as I come up out of this particular area, I'm down here in the bushes, y'all. Ooh, starting to rain. Got to take cover. It's been raining so much lately. I guess that's a sign. Maybe God is trying to tell me something. Maybe he's trying to get a message to me. I got to find a way to communicate with God. But I got to get home too. Oh, Lord, I wish I was home. This thunder and lightning ain't nothing to fool with. See, when you're out here in these backwoods, you got to be more careful. Can't take no chances. Can't take no chances. I got to get home and I don't want to get lost and get in a bad direction where I'm going through the backwoods. Lord, if you just will send the rain up north somewhere, send it away from me, Lord, because I cannot walk through all this water. My shoes are drenched, and my bloomers been torn. I'm going to have to get some new bloomers. Oh, I hope they got some bloomers up there for me. Oh, Lord. Well, I might as well just start telling y'all some of my great stories, then. Maybe this rain will subside and we could be able to get through this storm here. I wish I was home though. Ooh, I wish I was home. I wish I was home. I wish I was back there to a place I've been knowing. It would sure be nice to be back home in a place I've been knowing, and if you're listening, God, please don't make it hard for me to understand the things that I see. Should I run and hide, or should I stay, or is it better just to let things be, living here in this brand new world? Maybe a fantasy, but it's taught me to love. So it's real, it's real, it's real. I must learn to reach down inside my heart. A love, a love like yours. A love like mine, I like home. Yes, I wish I was home. But I can't be there right now. This storm is going to blow over pretty soon. I got to stay up near the hedges, close by the road. But once I get into the north part of the land I will know it by the way the rain goes down the track I must follow that north star and Lord if you're hearing me don't let me be too lost and don't let me be far away from home because I've lost my scent I've lost my ability to find my way in to the inland I'm hoping that you will find a way to get me there. Now, I'm just going to sit down here now that it's a little bit quiet and I can talk to y'all folk because I had a few lessons I want to teach you out of school. Some of the lessons that I learned along the wayside. You know, being as old as I am, 
I tried to remember all the stories that I could. I tried to keep them in my memory bank. But you know, sometimes things just slip on away and fade on away from you. But there were certain stories I just could never forget. Ooh, when I was back there with my mom and my pa, and back there was able to live in peace. But then I thought I was living a life. But when you don't have your freedom, you ain't living your life. You ain't. Now, you know those folks up north, they came with an idea. An idea that all of us was going to get our freedom. And they had people like Nat Turner, then my VC, and all of those people like Dr. Martin Luther, the king. I know that's who y'all been following lately. And he wasn't around during our time. But Frederick Douglass was. I can remember when we got that bank that was set aside for all of the slaves and we could put our money in that bank and all of my aunties and my grandparents and all them folks and they put their money in that bank and they thought it was going to be safe there. And all of a sudden money started coming up missing. Ooh, Lord, they, they, they bank statements wasn't accurate. They, they would make a deposit one day for $50, and the next day they only had $25. They were stealing their money. And somebody got high and tail of what was going on, that the manager of this bank, that their fair white non-melanite brother, was giving money away to his family and friends. Oh, yes. Even though this was not his money, Frederick Douglass caught word of this and he said, oh, no, we got to save our bank. We've got to save our bank. So Frederick Douglass donated $10,000 thinking that would keep the bank open. He wanted to keep that bank open because all of the townspeople were saving their money to buy some property, to buy some land. Because you know they forfeited on that land when they came together and they had a plan. They had a plan where they were going to give us $150 and and so many acres of land. They falsified that, that plan. They came up with that Indians Act and made them Indians lead a land and stole a land from them and brought all them Irish folks down. Stole that land from them slaves that were sharecropping and brought all them Irish down and said, here, we're going to give you grant loans. We're going to give you grant land contracts. We're going to help you and we're going to have these slaves teach you how to sharecrop. And we're giving you their share of reparation. Yes, they did. They made a mistake and they wrote it down in the history book. So nobody don't think the African Americans know nothing about that. They don't think that the black folks know that their reparation was given away. But see, I'm going to tell you the truth because this is lessons out of the history book that you should know. That was y'all reparation. All of them southern states were set aside for you, the Jacksonville, Floridas, and all of the Tampa, and, the, and, 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 and all them cities were set aside for you because they was getting ready to give y'all that land along with your reparation. Something came up that made them change their mind. I don't know what it was, but they changed their mind. And they looked over y'all, and they put them Indians out there on the street. And they beat them down the road and told them, don't you come back here no more to this territory. You don't live here no more. And put them Indians out on the street. Now, the indigenous black folks was with them too. Don't just think that they were Indian. We were part Indian. And we were called indigenous people because we were here first. But nobody want to talk to you about us being indigenous aboriginals. But see, I'm going to tell you the truth. I ain't going to bypass none of it. Because this here has second time around. And I got to make sure you get a good lesson and get the truth. And nothing but the truth, Ruth. So many times our young people in school got a lesson from their very own teacher. And it turned out to be a lie. It was no way true when they talked about Christopher Columbus coming to the inland to discover America. Oh, no. 
Christopher Columbus landed on America. And all them lies about he named the Indian. The Indians were already here. What he did was land on primitive rock and he took their land from them and had that great Thanksgiving dinner when in fact they had stole all the land from up under them. But let me tell you something. Them Africans that came from Sierra Leone, they made a connection to their people. They knew how to beat them drums and send them messages back to Sierra Leone because soon later on, All of them Africans from Sierra Leone came over to South Carolina for a celebration, child. Whoa, a celebration. These are Sierra Leone people that came over and say, look here. These would be our people that came from Sierra Leone to help y'all grow this rice and to help y'all cultivate South Carolina. But this here is our people. And we want you to know what they made of. And you cannot put them into slavery. They ain't never been no slaves. They are free Africans. And at the end of the day, the only thing they need to know is that they Africans and that they free. So don't go playing no games with our people telling them you're going to sell them into slavery. You can't sell no free man into slavery. What you thinking about? You must have fell and bumped your head. We want to make it plain and clear to you. We are islanders, and we're right over here in Africa. And any time y'all need us to help you fight a war or to get these so-and-sos off you, call us through the drum. Beat that drum. And tell us when you want us to come. We have not forsaken you, nor have we forgot about you. That's why we're bringing this here celebration to you. I want you to know this is a grateful time. We are united together. You must stay encouraged. And don't you dare lose your sight because you will reign again and you will be over your land. And just as soon as you make up your mind that you want to come back to Sierra Leone, that land will always be there for you. We will have that land carved out for y'all because that's where y'all came from when they stole y'all from the shore. They stole y'all and took y'all away from us and brought y'all over here to crop this rice and to fight in this war because they knew what y'all were made of. Now, that's a history lesson for you. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different because Had ain't going to lie to you. She's going to tell you the bucket naked truth. Now, since I was a history teacher and that was one of the things I used to do was to write about history and I never knew I I, I was going to be a part of history. Now, I'm a part of history. Wouldn't you know it? Now, I don't only just talk about it, but I'm a part of history. I made history happen. But they were getting ready to tell lies about my history and heritage. They was getting ready to give y'all all them lies about how I was out there delivering people by myself. And I couldn't even read a map upside down or sideways. So how would I know how to get up north? All this didn't just come to me. There were other folk out there that were also fighting for the liberation of our people. I was fighting down in the coal mine because I had people down there trying to hitch a ride, trying to get up north so they can get out of these contracts. And that's where I came in. I wasn't here just putting people on wagons and getting them up north because you had to know something about the schematic of the land to do that. There was other folks out there that were actually navigating these people up and down the north way. I got my family out. I knew enough to get my family out and my immediate kin, but all these other so-called free Africans, no, no, child, I couldn't get all them out if I wanted to. So let's stop that lie. Y'all stop carrying that lie on. Tell it, tell it, the school book children of, of the truth and how things really went. 
Now, and they even got our history all upside down, all kind of way. Even some of the people that are researching, they said they don't know if, if, if all these people came over on ships, that a lot of us might have already been here, that they don't know a time when we weren't here as Africans, that we was always here, and we never, ever left. So we got some clearing up to do. And and we got to stop with this fabrication of stories and make sure that the history books are corrected. Can, 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 can I get somebody to commit to changing these history books and correcting them so our black African-American children can learn the truth about their ancestors? Now, I, I've been gone a long time, but I ain't been gone that long. I, I know that things have changed and, and, and a lot of stuff. Things are modern and brand new. You you got your cell phones, your iPhones and iPods and oh Lordy and y'all doing all of these podcasts and y'all y'all into this digital world. Ooh, you 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 a digital girl, but you you had to be a digital girl to be in the digital world. I understand that. But y'all got to hit me to what's going on with this technology. Cause see y'all way out the box. See um, I know we had the ability to levitate and, and, and some of us knew how to fly that was slaves. We picked on up and flew on out and, and we had some gifts. But see now, a lot of y'all ain't been told who y'all are. So y'all don't know who y'all are. Y'all don't know y'all gods. You don't know you, you the making and the essence of God. Add a little sugar. Honeysuckle rose and a great big expression of happiness. Who could have missed? Add a dozen roses, honeysuckle rain, and a great big expression of happiness. Who could have missed? Yes, you had all these things to your disposal. And y'all had all kinds of high technology. Now you're going through high tech lynching. A different form of slavery that I don't know nothing about. Ooh, and I'm so happy I never had a chance to learn anything about that high tech lynching because that was worse than the slavery itself. But some of y'all are still going on and you're still fighting. For your rights in this Equal Rights Amendment. Now, Martin wasn't able to give y'all the mountaintop experience, I know. You never got to your freedom. And civil rights became rights for everyone, all people of color. And the blacks were just faded out of the whole situation. And then you had the Million Man March. All y'all marched down there, you million men. And you didn't have a plan to take over anything. You just marched down there and had a platform where you could make some changes and no changes was made. Somebody tell me why, 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 why? No plans weren't made for y'all to take over the city. You were supposed to go down there and make your demands clear. But nothing was done. So when is a black man going to receive his lot? When is a black man going to be able to say, it's my turn now to receive and to be in control? But in the good book, it does say, in the end, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So what do you think that means? Do you think that means that you're going to be on top again? Because if you are, you better start getting ready because time is almost up on us. And you got a lot of people that ain't grateful for what they do have. I was always told to be grateful. Be grateful for the little thing. Be grateful for the things to come. And be grateful for the things you have now. And even though you don't see no sunshine up there, God ain't always promised us sunshine. He said we would have a little rain. Just a little rain, he said. A little rain. Oh, Lord, he said, you ain't going to always have sunshine. But there will be just a little rain. 
So you got to be grateful. Be grateful. Be grateful. God has not promised me sunshine. That's not the way it's going to be. But a little rain mixed with God's sunshine, a little pain, so you can appreciate the good times. Be God desires to feel your longings, every pain that you feel, He feels Him just like you. But he can't afford to let you feel only good. And he can't afford to let you feel only good. Be grateful, Lord, he wants us to be grateful, be grateful, be grateful, be grateful, give everything to God, be grateful, all because there's someone else to love to be in your shoes, be grateful, be grateful, give everything to God, be grateful, for He will be alright, be grateful. For it will be all right. He wants us to be grateful. And God is going to wait on you to pull it together. We're in a new dispensation of things. Now that the wars and rumors of wars are still raging. And those of you who are out there trying to find your way and trying to find a purpose in your life. Just know that the Africans will get over the greenhouse and that they will rule again and that all of the rumors of wars will soon cease and the billows that, that are tossing and rumors of wars will soon cease. We've got to get our life together. And Herod is here now. I'm here now to help in whichever way I can. I know you've been wanting me to come back here to the States to see what I can do for the women group, see if I can establish an organization for just the women. That's right, because it's the women that will build a nation, and we need those women to come out front and be leaders. What would the world be like if the women were running society? What would the world be like? Oh, it would be a different world. It would be a different world than where I came from. If we just let the women come up and take hold and direct this caravan, so much things would be changed. Oh, Lord, things would be changed for the better. Because women in their soft heart, we know how to forgive. We know how to put this earth back on its axis again. We know how to stop these wars and communicate and collaborate. We know how to go to the ancestors like Ishun, 
to get a message through. Ochosi to get a message through. Shango the Thunder God, we calling on you, Shango the Thunder God. Shango the Thunder God, come on in, Shango the Thunder God. Oh, we know you are angry. So many things have been done wrong, Shango. We know that. But don't be angry with your children. Get them another chance. Show them what they're supposed to be doing. And Mother Yam and Ye, ooh, please come with your rivers of water. Help us as we learn how to commune with you. Don't let the people be afraid of worshiping an African traditional heritage. Don't let the people turn their backs on their ancestors, all in the name of embracing Christianity. Let them come alive. Open their eyes so that they can see. Don't let them be confused. These are traditional gods, the African gods, and they are coming into realization. We are becoming those gods now. We don't have to wait for God to get here. The gods will rise up in us and we will take their place and we will command and we will demand that certain things cease in this world. We will have no more traitors who will be leading us and who will be coveting our gifts and our things. We will have no more people running this country who are without a heart who have no souls we will not allow those people to lead we will sit them down and we will be about the business of carrying our people to the new land oh martin martin has anybody seen my old friend martin has anybody seen my old friend martin can you tell me where he's gone they tell me he freed a lot of people but the good they die young i just looked around i just looked around and now he's gone 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 has anybody seen my old friend martin martin said that we would get to the mountain top but he wouldn't get there with us but martin is a spirit now we can know martin in spirit and in truth we will get to the mountain top together martin and martin we will see the vision that you had for your people Don't think that it's strange that someone took you off this plane, but you can know us in spirit and in truth. Martin, don't go away. Let your frequency vibrate a little bit longer here. And Stokely Carmichael, come on back home to your people. Give us the sign. Encourage us. And show us the truth. Nina Simone, stand out front and lift up your arms and say, I don't want to be misunderstood. Baby, understand me now. Sometimes I don't do things right. And no one can always be an angel. And I know that I'm not always right. Please understand my intentions are good. Oh, Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. Lord, I don't want to be misunderstood. No, Nina don't want to be misunderstood, but they stole from Nina. And they took from Nina and they ran her out of this country. All of those liberators who were liberating this country will come back in spirit to be with us. And you say, how long? I say, not long. They will be back to support us. And as we come to this land, this new land, we're going to look for our Orishas. 
the thunder God we have with us, Shungo, will be with us. And we will know that God has come back to this place to be with us. God is now living in you and in myself. And we will rise up and be the gods that we were always looking for. And we will not be afraid. And even though the tempests are raging and the storms are raging, we will not be afraid. I shall not be moved, nor will I be afraid. Because God is with us. Emmanuel is with us. And he is here to tread the water with us as we go over the rivers. And down the path, we will summon all of our ancestors back. And our riches will stand with us. O Chosi. Yamanye Shango Obatala Ishun, they will all stand with us. And Obatala, our eldest brother, who is the father of all the riches, will be there with us too. Let us take this path down the road together and let us take a path that we're going to lift up our indigenous Aboriginal brothers and sisters. That everyone will know that we were part Native American and part Indian too, and that we didn't come here to be broken down. We came here to lift each other up. And I'll be brief. I'll be short. I won't hold you up like no jury court. I'll be brief. I won't hold you up. Like some common thief. I'll get straight to the point, And in no time I'll have you up and out of this joint. I'll be short. I won't keep you like you're in some jury court. Waiting while debating. Which plaintiff case will prevail. Or which one the jury will decide to throw in jail. Yes, I'll hurry. So you don't even have to worry. I'm already Fixing to get ready to get ready to go. So before anyone hits the door, just remember that I still have the floor. I'm a poet for those of you who didn't know it. And it's been my real, my real intention to show it. Before I get ready to bring this to an end, I'm sure you all have places that you long should have been. I only hope that I haven't committed the cardinal sin by taking up too much of your time, my friend. I'll be brief. Out of the valley. I was down in the valley and I couldn't get from under. How long would I be in this state, I wonder. Then a voice inside of me spoke out and said, this thing you won't have to dread. For you no longer have to ponder. This thing won't have you going under. Lift up your head and cry out with one great voice. Now you must make a choice. Stand to your feet. This thing you won't, you are now ready to defeat. You've gone under for the very last time. You don't have to go back anymore. That is, if you're still keeping the score. This kind of crazy you don't recognize anymore. In your spirit, you are rich. You don't have to resort to being poor. All you need to do is just have enough courage to walk through the door. Remember, you don't have to receive it nor embrace it. Just let your mind totally erase it. Nothing can take you under if you don't permit it. Remember what Johnny Cochran once said, if it doesn't fit, it must be acquitted. Now when you cry out, millions will come to your defense. You won't have to persuade or convince. Now that you come out of the valley, the people, the people will gather around just to rally that you have now come up out of the valley. I took a look at my life today and I saw so much of it faded away. 
I took a breath and I could hardly breathe. Then I nearly fell down to my knees. For I must go on, you see. I can't let this life get the best of me. For this thing will soon pass, you'll see. This is only my testimony. While looking for my future in the past, I'll take a breath and hope that it lasts. For the power once expressed in my past is now accompanying my future at last. For I must go on, you see. I can't let this life get the best of me. For this thing will soon pass, you'll see. This is only my testimony. For just being here in the presence, it hurts too bad. It only leaves me feeling lonely and sad. From life's ups and downs, I find myself hiding my frown. While looking for my future in the past, I'll take a breath and hope that it lasts. For I must go on, you see. Can't let this life get the best of me. This thing will soon pass, you see. For this is only my testimony. Now that I've learned the art and skill of meditation, I can send out to you who hurt an invitation for a chance to commune with the divine in you by hooking up with the meta netter. In no time, you'll be feeling better. For I must go on, you see. I can't let this life get the best of me. This thing will soon pass, you'll see. This is only my testimony. While looking for my future and the past, I'll take a breath and hope that it lasts. I'll take a breath now and know that it will last, for life is no longer a test for me. This is my only testimony. My husband thinks that I am a miracle worker. But dig this. This is the real tearjerker. He tucks $20 in my hand. And I politely say, man, what's your plan? And then he responds, I'm sure that you understand. He says, here, take this and go shopping. Without even stopping to think that it's been a long time since grits was poultry. And since $20 bought groceries, while just the other day he requested gourmet, I put chicken on his plate instead of steak and prayed that he didn't realize that it was fake. I guess someone has to determine his fate. See, as a miracle worker, I don't have to debate why on his days off, all he wants to do is sit and gaze. He never wants to interface. He, wa- he never wants to reminisce about the good old days. His mind is always somewhere off in the days. Why, the television occupies a great portion of his time. He keeps on promising that he's going to read a few of my lines. But I have to laugh. I have to laugh just to keep from crying. This man really thinks I'm a miracle worker. I ain't lying. His greatest consolation is flipping the television from station to station. Hopefully soon he will be ready to take a vacation. That is from the television station. Because I am no real miracle worker. That's the real cheer jerker. This music inside of me, this music inside of me has to sing. Come winter, come fall, or come spring. Melodies that are so sweet to the ear. 
that they will come from afar just to hear. I'll sing a song of summer and add to it the beat of the finest drummers with big drums and little drums and talking drums too. I'll create the music especially for you. With flutes and string instruments, I'll add to it the woodwinds and the percussions and accents that birds will come out to hear. This music will be so soothing to the ear. This music inside of me, you just got to hear. This music inside of me has to sing. Come winter or fall or spring. In the coolness of the falls, the breeze begins to call out to the children to return to the halls. While making vows that they will travel for miles to return to the schools with tan faces after they have returned from their various vacations. This music inside of me has to sing. Come winter, come fall, or come spring. This music inside keeps telling me that there is music inside that has been suppressed and forced to hide. But I must bring it out by singing loud with pride. I'll sing on a new I'll sing a new song on one winter's night while the wind blows and the snowflakes strike a pose. And on every street corner, you'll be able to hear this music inside of me that's so dear. This music inside of me has to sing. Come winter, come fall, or come spring. On a spring day in the heat of the night, my voice will echo in the ghetto ever so light all during the night. While singing out, let the music inside of you heal others, for you were blessed with it by your mothers. Let the music inside of you sing, come winter, come fall, or come spring. Have you read the books? Have you read the books? The Metanetu, the Husia today. Have you read every word that they have to say? From volume one to volume two. Have you discovered the hidden treasures in which they hold for you? You must embrace the comedic teaching and not only just preaching in the in the ways that we used to be with the respect and reverence from above, knowing that the greatest is love. You must learn to reject the prejudice in exchange for respect in the comedic teaching. It was brought only seven personalities to be taught. Have you read the books, the Metanetta, the Husia today? Have you read every word that they have to say? Now let this mind of the comedic be within you, which was also in the Netter too. So no man will ever attempt to offend you. You must read line upon line and precept upon precept, not from one prophet nor from one preacher, but just sit down and let the Netter be your teacher. Now from the now from the age of the sphinx, no matter what you heard or what you think, man must master his lower half by reaching back into his past. Other men have adopted our history while leaving us with only a mystery. After you've read all the books, there will be no need for you to look because the answers will all be located there in the book. Now may the circle never be unbroken, and may these very words that I've spoken be held as a token, and may the netter be satisfied as she sets us aside to be sanctified. is going to end her session now and I want to greet each and every one of you with the right hand of fellowship. If you know about the Lord 
and you know the procedure for church, I want you to understand we always greet our brothers and sisters with the right hand of fellowship. I greet you with the right hand of fellowship. Go in peace, and I will be talking to you again on another occasion. Please tune in while Harriet...